You travelled from Manchester today, didn't yes, you? Yes, with great difficulty. Right, we're going to show. We're going to show some film here of. Uh, we don't have it. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Here it is. <laughs> right. This is you now. Explain to us. It's very nice. Right, but explain to me. Is this this? Oh my <laughs> word! This is the taxi. You're like a mermaid. <laughs> What did you tell that taxi driver? It was, oh, he thought I was drunk. I was like, no, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, darling. No, it was, I just have to explain, like, I've had an operation. And they was like, mmm, and they kind of look back at you really shocked. I'm like, it's my bum. I've had so my that bum. that was the done. taxi. Did you have to get on the train? The train, and everybody was like, what, what's the matter with you? And I'm like, I've had an operation. So on the train, did you just stand or did you lie across the seat? A bit or? of everything. On the table, doing a plank, you know, anywhere I could get comfortable. Now, beside you here is the bum doctor. <laughs> Dr. Ford Hamza, because basically, sir, although you did not do this operation, um, she got this done in Turkey, yes. you are the man who perfected this operation. You have brought the bum to new heights, haven't you? Yes, yes, yes. yes exactly. What's so. your philosophy about the bottom and how you can enhance it? So the philosophy is a body contouring. So first of all, it's a plastic surgery, so it's a surgery. So it's shifting the fat from one area and adding to the bum and to the bump and to the hips and this will allow the body contouring and give a nice shape uh, so we can do that as we see here this so is, that's a, this Laura, is this your bottom this is Laura. me so before and before after so we can see here the, the mapping on her body so the area where the fat will be shifted from the back and the lower the lower back and the waist and then add it uh, on the and what's the, the cleverness of all of this? Um, will the fat go back to where it was? So the area where we take the fat from, never the fat will be back there. But the fat, it's fat cells. So these fat cells will live in this uh, area, which is the buttock and the hips. And it will be her own fat. So for that, we advise the patient not to sit on the buttocks to avoid the compression on the buttocks. Like that, we can keep the fat cells alive. You don't want to displace anything. But, Laura, when we're looking at your, your bottom there, let's see that picture the again, guys. One, let's really see this again. See the no, the, you can see the bottom, uh, the bottom, bottom picture yeah. um, is, is, is almost bursting. Um, is that sore, Laura? Is that no? Do you know what? When I woke up, I was a bit groggy from the anesthesia, but everything else was just fine. I didn't really feel. I felt it itching after a couple of days, but it was absolutely fine. I was See, in no I, pain. I was looking at the, the before pictures, and I thought you had a perfectly nice bottom. Um, why did you want this? Lift. Um, I'm getting a little bit older now and I, be, I used to be a big gym bunny. I used to do all the beauty pageants and modelling and when you get past 30 it's harder to shift. So I was kind of looking in ways and means of doing it surgically because I'm a big fan of plastic surgery. <laughs> and when I found Elite Aftercare in Turkey I was like, oh, I've got to go there. I found some friends that have been there and it's not just about having a big bum because I didn't want a huge ridiculous donkey bum. I wanted the curves. You wanted the, that you know, hourglass. The hourglass. Did, did, yeah. Do you want a Kardashian bottom? I did it. I love Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians, they're amazing, but I didn't want that big. I just wanted what I had naturally mm. to be enhanced and just a bit more shapely. Because do you mind doing as a, a twirl? Can you just, Not just at all. see here? Do, do. Do, do, do. <laughs> she's very happy, Doctor. She's very happy. She's yeah. very, very yeah, happy. Yeah. That's our goal, so to make... Because to, um, yeah. you were a, a contestant on X on the Beach, weren't yes, you? Yes, I was, yes. Um, and you said you got a bit of stick on social media. Yeah. And that made you kind of want to look at your body shape, and so you were really affected by that. Definitely, because I killed myself at the gym, like I had been for the last 10 years, specifically for the show. And then when I got on there and it came off, people were like, your boobs are too stuck on, you've got no bum, your figure's like SpongeBob Sp square pants. And I was like, that's gonna affect anybody. So mm. I, after that, it really did not my confidence a lot. Doctor, with 20 seconds left, how much would something, if someone looks at this and they think they can sh reshape themselves, how much would an operation like that cost? This is a range cost, so it starts from £6,500 to £10,000. So depending on how many areas of liposuction that we do, because we shift the fat from one area to add it to another area, but at the same time we do a body contouring for that. Yes. So, and yeah. then we need to remove the fat from the tummy, the waist, and this... this but like okay. every operation, it comes with a risk, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So what Listen, we're out of time. I'm very, very sorry. Thank you very thank much you. indeed.